I just met the four girls your mom kidnapped. It's so sad. They all had such interesting personalities. I hope they stay relevant. Those girls hate me. I kind of hate you too, but I'm Ryan and I'm so pure I never learned the word hate. And also because you saved me, so I kind of love you, but as a sister. Uh, yeah. Sister. Totally. I miss Maddie. What was she like? Who, Maddie? Can you shut up and just dance with me? Perfect. The door was open, and I am free. Oh no. Ryan, I can't believe you just tried to run away. Oh shoot, you caught me. That was a bad move. Stop it, stop it. He's already collapsed. Stop hitting Ryan. He is not your son and those girls you have locked away are not your children either. I am your daughter, am I not good enough for you? No, you're not. I miss my other daughter. Yikes. Why did you help me? I feel like I've known you all along. I also feel like I've known you all along. You should call the police on my mom. But what will happen to you? I won't call the police if I don't know you're safe. Please move in with me. I don't think I'm ready to leave my mom just yet. Even if she is abusive. That's okay, I know you're kind of selfish and I'm willing to wait for you to be ready. Thank you, Ryan. I heard your dad, Connor wants to change his hair, this is a big deal. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I have never seen Connor's other eye before. Ever? Yes. I'm going to change my hair, this is a big deal for me. Woo woo. Oh yeah. Look at me hair. Cough. I look pretty hot. Wow, you are so sexy. Yeah, I know. So spooky. I got a text that has threatened to arrest my dad and kill me and my mom. Do I know you? Oh. Wow, Maddie, you look different. You look ugly. Ryan loves me for who I am. Yikes. I do not ship you and Ryan. I still love you, Maddie. You don't know love, you are a child. Wow, Maddie, you are so woke. I still love you. Your life is so great. You think? I have a bad life. I doubt that. Really? You doubt it? You don't think finding out your dad possibly murdered someone, or getting a text message threatening to kill me and my mom, or losing your best friend cause you don't believe her? You don't think that counts as a bad life? Also I've seen two dead bodies, one I watched get murdered by a zombie and there was a spooky ghost haunting my house and my older brother died and now I'm possessed by his ghost that keeps telling me about some bad prophecy because I didn't break up with you after the sun was in the middle of the sky which is so obscure and I also saw my boyfriend's grandparents locked in a closet. Also my best friend keeps telling me my boyfriend was shot which means that if she is telling the truth then my boyfriend is dead. Come talk to me if something worse happens to you. Yikes. But hey, that's just my life. To my life. I don't like Nicole's new friends. I wish she would be your friend again. Me too, but she told a lie and she's mad that I don't believe her. Do you think Nicole is an honest person? Yes, I do. Then why would an honest person lie? I guess that would explain Ryan locking his grandparents in the closet. Wow, yikes. Have you told anyone about that yet? No. Boo hoo. Nicole, why are you crying? Everyone at school thinks I'm a lesbian. Aren't you? No. 
I missed you. I missed you too. No homo. No homo. I suspect Alex is the one sending threatening texts. Well, no one else has Veda and Maddie's number. I agree. It is reasonable to assume Alex, my best friend's mother, and my mother's best friend would want our family dead. Actually, Alex doesn't know Veda is pregnant, so that doesn't sound reasonable. But who else would send those texts? It's moments like these when I wish Wes had been introduced already. He would have solved this case within seconds. Alex, it is you. You have been sending threatening texts. Why do you think it's me? It could be Chris. No, no, Chris is a good guy and has not a single bad bone in his body. Even if he found out someone was a bisexual he wouldn't care. Because he is a good man who is not at all biphobic. You're right. That does make me the last suspect. I'm looking real suspicious right now. No. No. Wait. I just got a text too. That's not suspicious. The text says that my family is going to die. Wow, that's really spooky. I'm so spooked right now. I think we are being watched. Also I just got a threatening letter that said it's going to kidnap my daughter and abort Vita's baby. The note says they just want to talk. This is terrible. We should sacrifice Nicole so we can find out who is sending these threatening messages. Hey Ryan. Hey. It's been a while since we talked. Is it because I kissed you with consent, but passionately? No, but it is odd, the Ryan that I know is more delicate and shy than that. I didn't think you would have passionately kissed me with consent so fast. I always got a gay vibe from you so I just assumed you weren't into kissing or anything like that. What do you mean? I mean, I saw your grandparents tied up in the closet. Oh shoot. She knows too much. Frick. Mom, stop being sad. You have me. I mean... I guess. By the way, I saw Ryan's grandparents tied up in the closet. That's odd. Yeah, he also kissed me, it was with consent, but, it didn't feel like something he'd do. Yeah, I always got the gay vibe from him. That's what I said. But that reminds me, when I told you that I saw Ryan get shot. I also saw the person who shot him. He looked emo but old. So. If Ryan was shot, then our Ryan isn't real, and the real Ryan is dead? I can answer that. This will be hard for you to take in. What do you mean? I'm not Ryan. Hi, my name is Drake. I am Ryan's twin brother. Ryan didn't tell me he had a twin brother. He didn't know. When we were born, my dad kidnapped me from the hospital. Ryan never met me and our mother died before she could tell Ryan about me. This whole time I have been stalking Ryan and watching him grow up and I got jealous of his great life and hot girlfriend. I'm a freak, I know. Anyway I wanted to replace him so my dad killed Ryan and I started living as him. Maddie, Ryan is dead. I hate you Drake, you are evil. I'm sorry. No you're not. Yeah, probably. I'm going to self-harm now. Yikes. Ryan won't be happy about that. I hate my freaking life so I'm self-harming. Honey, I've been kissed without consent, hit by a car. Had a teen pregnancy and lost my son, broke my heart and almost died so don't you be telling me you hate your life. This show is called My Life and it is about me, Roxy, not Maddie. You dumb fucking twerp. Yikes. Mom. I get it, okay. No you don't. I could have ended my life just there and then. But I didn't and you know why? Because I am a strong feminist icon and I pushed myself through it all. Mom, 
I'm losing a lot of blood. Can you stop talking and get me a band-aid or something? I think I'm going to faint. And anyway I just want you to know your life don't mean crap compared to my life. Also I don't think Ryan is dead. Maybe you're just being dramatic. We're raiding your house for your grandparents. Oh my gosh grandparent, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine but Drake has kept us locked up for a while. Drake, you are under arrest. See you slut. I am stealing this Nicole. Oh. I just got a note. Nicole has been kidnapped and has two days to live. What should we do? I don't know, this person wants to talk to us, but they left no address. Shoot. Nicole is so dead. Just like Ryan. Mom, 